continuing on to 1440. Good morning, it's Wednesday, June 10th, and we're covering a coronavirus clarification, an election mess in Georgia, and more. Need to know, George Floyd buried. And let the poor man rest in peace. Just go away, you, you memorializers. Hundreds of mourners turned out for a burial service in Houston for George Floyd yesterday. Hundreds of people knew George Floyd. All these people, wow. The final in a string of memorials for the man whose death at the hands of Minneapolis police officers has sparked nationwide and global protests. A number of high-profile public figures were in attendance, including civil rights leaders Reverends Al Sharpton and William Lawson, actor and Houston native Jamie Foxx, Houston Texans star J.J. Watt, and others. Singer Neo performed a widely lauded rendition of It's So Hard to Say Goodbye to Yesterday. Floyd's death, and the demonstrations it sparked, has forced many cities to reevaluate policing policy. In New York City, lawmakers eyed a law that would make officer disciplinary records and complaints public. I'm not sure that's a bad thing. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner said he would pursue a ban on chokeholds. See, that's going too far, because sometimes a chokehold is necessary and isn't dangerous if you stop doing it in a reasonable amount of time. President Trump is said to be readying a list of reform proposals, a move that follows the unveiling of a Democratic-led reform bill in Congress. Separately, Floyd's brother is scheduled to testify to the House Judiciary Committee today, along with a number of other witnesses speaking on the issue of police reform. Floyd's family said they wanted him to be remembered as a gentle giant. See photos from the service here. The gentle giant who spent years in jail because he robbed a pregnant woman and intimidated her by sticking a gun in her belly. That kind of gentle giant. Coronavirus confusion. The World Health Organization walked back comments made Monday suggesting the spread of the coronavirus by asymptomatic patients was rare. Really? Officials clarified actual rates of transmission by such carriers are not yet known after critics said the statement implied social distancing measures weren't necessary for those not displaying symptoms. Well, yeah. The confusion highlights how much remains unknown about the virus and cuts to the distinction between asymptomatic and presymptomatic patients. The former never display symptoms, while the latter may spread the virus before symptoms begin. Some models suggest 40-60% to 60 of new cases come from carriers before they develop symptoms, though it's unclear how the virus is primarily spread absent coughing. So, if you can keep your cough to yourself and nobody knows how it's going to spread. Separately, a new estimate suggests restrictions in Europe prevented more than... So why, why did we jump ahead? Why did we jump to masks for everybody so quickly when there were good, you know, PSAs out there about coughing into your elbow or whatever? I'm just saying. Separately, a new estimate suggests restrictions in Europe prevented more than 3 million deaths through early May. As of this morning, the U.S. had reported 1.98 million cases, with 112,006 deaths. Deaths rose less than 1% since yesterday. See the three-day moving average here. Oh, it's about 1%. A glimpse of ancient Rome. In a groundbreaking advance for the field of archaeology, Researchers revealed this week the complete mapping of the ancient Roman town of Phalerai Novi. Phalerai Novi. It is the first time an entire city has been mapped using ground-penetrating radar, which allows identification of buried structures while providing a bird's-eye view of ancient urban planning, all without lifting a shovel. The approach relies on pulses of radio waves that travel into the ground, partially reflecting off buried objects. By measuring across the surface and at different angles, researchers can reconstruct 3D images of underlying structures without labor-intensive and destructive archaeological digs. In this case, previously undiscovered baths, markets, and even a pre-Roman public monument were found. Well, are they gonna are they gonna dig it up now? Now that they if they can see, if they if they know where everything is, then it should be easier to dig it up without you know, without hurting anything, right? 
Are they just going to leave it there? Phalerai Novi was established around 240 BC, lasting until the 8th century when it was abandoned. Its study provides one of the few examples, aside from sites like Pompeii, of how Roman officials organized urban life. Pompeii. Maybe it's Phalerai Novi. Phalerai Novi? Valerie, Valerie, oh, why don't you come on over, Valerie? The cable killer? The motley fool. Notice how everyone seems to be cutting cable lately in favor of streaming services like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO, and Hulu? The shift is happening without a doubt, and things could look pretty bleak for cable. But who do you pick to be the biggest winner? With so many programs and offerings, it seems daunting to predict who's coming out on top in the Netflix versus all battle royale. Our friends at The Motley Fool have been scouring the investment world for the stock most likely to capitalize on this shift, and shockingly, both of The Motley Fool's co-founders, David and Tom, independently arrived at the same company. This has only happened 25 times over the entire history of The Motley Fool Stock Advisor, and when it does... The average return has been an astounding 931%. The company they're featuring today could stand to grow immensely within the multi-trillion dollar media and entertainment industry, sitting nicely in the middle of the advertising market. And the best part is most investors have never even heard of it. Check out the report now. Please support our sponsors. In the note. Sports, entertainment, and culture. Lollapalooza Music Festival cancelled over ongoing coronavirus concerns. Will be replaced by a virtual concert July 30th to August 2nd. You people. The first round of the 2020 MLB draft begins tonight. Full draft has shortened to five rounds from its traditional 40 due to the pan panic. Due to the panic. 300 BIPOC? Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, theater artists pen open letter. Black, Indigenous, and People of Color. Very, very inclusive. Good job. Pen open letter alleging racism in the theater industry. Oh, I'm shocked. Is there anywhere where they're not going to say that there's racism? Is, any, is anywhere safe? Are the, are the People of Color safe anywhere? They don't think so. Bubba Wallace, the only African-American in the NASCAR Cup Series, will race today with Black Lives Matter painted on his car. Dude. Science and technology. Grand jury indicts Charles Lieber, the head of Harvard's chemistry and chemical biology department, for lying about financial links to Chinese institutions on federal funding grants. Shouldn't lie. IBM to halt all work into general-purpose facial recognition technologies tells Congress it opposes the use of such technology for mass surveillance. Okay. First fast radio burst detected... First fast radio burst. That's fun to say. First fast radio burst. Detected from within the Milky Way believed to come from a magnetar, an ultra-dense, hypermagnetized neutron star. The origin of such bursts has been a mystery since their 2007 discovery. Aliens. It's aliens. Business and markets. The S&P 500 would fall while the NASDAQ rises. S&P 500 down 0.8% and Dow down 1.1%. While the NASDAQ rises 0.3%. NASDAQ crosses the 10,000 mark for the first time. Well, why did those other ones fall? What happened? Sports apparel giant Adidas pledges 30% of all new U.S. hires will be filled with black and Latino employees, who will also invest $20 million in black communities. How noble. That's racist, by the way. You're going to be discriminating against, oh, white and Asian and Indian and what else? <laughs> Get Up gets a new guest host. Laura Rutledge's dachshund Remy makes an adorable appearance on TV after barking in the background. Okay, that's important. Anyway, you're going to be discriminating against a shit ton of other people. 
Oh, and, and, oh, Native Americans discriminated against them in order to only hire black and Latinos for 30% of your spots. That's cool. Sure. That's totally legal. Online car marketplace Vroom sees shares soar 118% on first day of trading as a public company. Politics and World Affairs. Senate confirms General Charles C.Q. Brown as Air Force Chief of Staff. Brown becomes the country's first black military service chief and the second black member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff after Colin Powell. Uh-huh. See, but now I'm questioning whether or not he's actually qualified. Not because he's black, but because you hired him, you appointed him at this time when everybody's trying to give the black people a leg up. So, I have to question. You can't not question if he really was the best candidate. That's the problem with this whole shit. One of the many problems. Georgia primary elections beset with problems as new voting machines malfunction, causing hours-long delays for voters. Sweden ends probe into 1986 murder of Prime Minister Olaf Palm, identifying the suspect as graphic designer Stig Engström, Engström, who killed himself in 2000. Hmm. Excellent historical returns, no jargon. The Motley Fool was founded by brothers Tom and David Gardner out of their garage in Alexandria, Virginia. Since then, they've grown remarkably, thanks in part to some life-changing stock recommendations. Some highlights. Netflix in 2004, 22,529% returns. Amazon in 2002, 16,118% returns. Tom's average recommendation returns. Re recommendation, 198% returns. David's average recommendation, 649% returns. Today, they've arrived independently at the same recommendation, which very rarely happens. Read the report now. Please support our sponsors. Etc. Here's why you try harder when you're close to reaching a goal. The long-running cops has been canceled. Oh, that's lovely. Yellowstone's most famous bear emerges from hibernation. From our partners, overwhelmed by the news but looking for health and wellness ideas, this free newsletter of fun-to-read curated content serves up inspiring new ideas to improve your health and conquer the week. Hashtag ad. Cristiano Ronaldo becomes the first billionaire soccer player. This robotic third arm will help you smash through walls. Bill and Ted are ready for their next excellent adventure with trailer. Is your internet slow? It may be your neighbor's fault. Watch the earth hypnotically rotate around the sky on loop. Clickbait. The $54 million lawsuit over missing pants comes to an end. Well, good. History book. Benjamin Franklin conducts famous kite experiment, 1752. Hattie McDaniel, first African-American to win an Oscar, born, 1893. Hmm. I thought that Sidney Poitier was the first one, but I guess I was wrong. Hollywood legend Judy Garland, born, 1922. Italy invades France, declares war on France, and Great Britain, 1940. Rest in peace, musician Ray Charles, 2004. <clears throat> Putting a little time aside for clean fun and good humor is very necessary to relieve the tensions of our time. Hattie McDaniel. Agreed. That's very timely. That's a very timely quote. And while you are, you know, enjoying your clean fun and good humor... It would be nice if you would not bring the tensions of our time into those outlets, you know, so as not to ruin them. That would be cool. Enjoy reading. Forward this email to a friend. 1440. Thank you very, 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 very much. That's all.